Hello, in this quick video we're going to look at using a feature line to design the curb return within a corridor. So I've got my two curb returns. Right now I've got them as a polyline. I have my existing corridor. It's got a finished grade surface. So the first thing I want to do, I want to turn this edge of asphalt or this lip of gutter into a feature line. So I'm going to go up to the ribbon here and go to feature line, create feature line from object. I'm going to do both of those. Hit enter, pick a style. You can either erase the existing entity, which I will. Let's put it on a site. I'm going to call it just CR for curb return. And let's assign the elevations. And I want to assign the elevation from the finish grade. So the finish grade of my corridor. That way at each end, I pick up that the grade of the existing corridor. So, um, you know, we could change the grade of that curb return. I can come up here, you know, with that feature line selected, I can come here to the set grade slope between points. I'm just going to straight grade it from that elevation, hit enter, and all the way through. And I could grade that out. I could grade it different around the ADA ramp if I needed to. Yeah, I'm going to simply just for now, go ahead and straight grade that. Okay, so I've got my feature line. I have my assemblies, so I've got my control line at the edge of asphalt. I've got my curb gutter, sidewalk, cut fill, and a little little piece of section of asphalt that I can use to target. So I'm going to select my corridor. I'm just going to right click and go to corridor properties. And on the parameters tab, I'm going to choose add baseline. I'm going to choose now, I'm going to choose feature line instead of alignment profile. And I'm going to sim simply select that from the screen. Okay. We got to do one at a time. I'm going to call this curb return southwest and hit OK. I'm going to hit OK. And it's down here at the bottom. I need, I'm going to right click. I'm going to say add region. And I'm going to choose my assembly, in this case, curb return. Hit OK and hit OK. Now, if this happens, which is a common thing, we can either choose to select a different assembly or we can choose to change the direction of the feature line. So I'm going to simply select the feature line, come up here to the ribbon where it says Edit Geometry, and I'm going to reverse the feature line. Okay, and now that's going to go in the direction that I want it to go in. And we should be good to go here. So at this point, all I'm going to do is select some items to target. So I'm going to select my corridor. From the ribbon, I'm going to choose Edit Targets. I'm going to select inside the region here. And I'm going to target for width and I'm going to target for elevation. For width first, I'm going to select two lines, the one going north-south and the one going east-west. So I'm going to say None. I can pick them from the screen. I'm going to select that. Let's do the north-south first. I'm going to hit add here. Always going to hit add. Let's select the other one. Okay, let's pick that alignment. Hit OK and hit add. Okay. I'm going to do that for the elevation now. So I'm going to choose which alignments that was. Okay, finish grade, hit add. Let's go to south loop four, finish grade, hit add. And I'm just going to simply hit OK. And that's going to target both alignments and profiles, east, west, north, south. So I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to do that on the, the right side of that intersection. Okay, so select our corridor. Corridor properties. Add baseline, feature line again. Let's pick it from the screen. And I'm going to call that curb return southeast and hit OK. OK, let's add the region. I'm going to hit OK and OK. All right, same thing there. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to reverse that feature line first. And then I'm going to use a command where it matches property. So let's reverse the feature line. I'm 
I'm going to select my corridor, and up on the ribbon there is match parameters. So I want to match the parameters, the one on the left to the one on the right, and hit enter. And so what that has done is it has now applied the same targeting to the north-south and to the east-west. So I don't have to go through and set that up. So quickly and easily, created a feature line, added that as a baseline to my corridor, and just applied a couple simple targets.